Good afternoon, everyone. Oops. Another day to struggle with the lighting in my apartment. Okay. Who's ready for a super awesome hit circuit? I hope that you guys raised your hands as well. We're going to have a great workout today. I'm excited. I recommend having at least one medium to heavy weight. It does look real dark in here. At least one medium to heavy weight. Oh, hold on, let me turn the volume off. Jessica, I'm so challenged. Okay, we start in two minutes with a nice dynamic stretching warm up. A lot of the moves today are gonna be one side at a time. We're going to work to increase the challenge within our circuits, each circuit. Great news, we're also gonna increase the length of the circuit, each circuit. So grab some water, put some music on, make yourself happy, get ready to push yourself as much as you can. We're gonna have a great time today. Holiday. Yes. Oh, the good news, the good news is I'm pretty sure I took almost all of the jumping out of today's workout. I did, there's no jumping, there's no jumping. We got seven moves, one, two, three, four, five, six. We got eight moves, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. some solid H2O. Great, thanks for your patience, y'all. You know, sometimes you just suddenly realize, oh no, it's right over there. I desperately need to go to the bathroom. Okay, great. You're here, I'm here, it might just be me on me, but that's not gonna stop me from today's great workout. So we're gonna start off chill. Don't worry, there's a warm up coming up. We're gonna start with 45 seconds of work each set. And then we'll move up to, you know, yeah. I said 45. Okay, we'll do 45. We'll go for a solid 15 seconds of rest. 
we got eight rounds of work. But first, we got a delightful warm up. A delightful one, I promise. All right, we're gonna go for some just alternating inner sole slaps. So much fun. We got, we got a bunch of squats coming up today, so I'm just working to warm up those legs, warm up your glutes. If you can't quite reach that foot, that's okay, just do your best. If you want to add a little extra stretch, bring these arms up overhead. Four more. Three, two, one, and now a nice straight leg, opposite toe kick. If this feels big, feels kind of big to me, I'm going to add in just a couple of steps right here between just to prep my body for this big forward kick. Now you don't need to feel, don't feel like you have to kick up as high as I'm kicking. You're doing what feels right for your body today. I want you to keep this chest upright. So you're not reaching down to the floor, finding any rounding in that lower back. Four more. Three, Two, one. Awesome, let's go for some alternating knee pulls. Really draw it in. I'm just helping with my pants right here. Awesome, three more on each side. Three, just challenging that balance a little bit too. Yay, last one each side. Great, next up we're going to step out into a lunge. It doesn't have to be a big lunge, more of just like a split stance. But I want you to bring the weight into your front heel. Start pressing through that front heel and the back ball of the foot. We're just gonna do some arm circles. Whichever leg is forward, keep that belly pulled in nice and tight. Make some big circles with your arm. I think these are fun. These make me think about like how Elvis would play guitar. All right, let's get that opposite direction. This is a little bit more how Elvis would play guitar. <laughs> Good work. Switch to the other side. Come into that lunge. Once you're in that lunge, a little bend in your front knee, weight in that heel, activating those glutes. Four more. Three, two, one. Switch directions. Start to wake those lats up a little bit as well. Another four count. Four, three, two, one. Great job. Last thing, we're just gonna do some alternating hamstring stretches. So just reach back. I really want you to think as you reach back about drawing that knee back as well. So squeezing that glute, finding a little bit of a lift. Seriously, why is it so dark in here? Hold on. Let's keep doing just a couple more of those. Does that help? Does it hurt? Did it hurt? Does it help? Nothing. Anything? All right. Now you know. I tried. And it's okay if you're more like a funky chicken, if you have to be a little out to the side, but the more that your knees are pointing down to the floor and then back, you're gonna to start to feel a little stretch in that back and you're gonna feel it a lot more Ooh, in that quad. All right, if you've made it to five on each side, congratulations. Grab yourself a sip of water. If you have an opportunity to turn music on and you have not yet, Turn that music on. Okay. Got the timer. We're gonna get some weights. I want you to get, I want you to get the heaviest weight that you can challenge yourself, but I really want you to think about your form. So if your weights are the appropriate weight, as you press your arms up overhead, not much is gonna happen with changing the flexion of your back. But if your weights are too heavy for you, then you tend to find a big extra arch in your back. And I would rather you not use weights 
or maybe just use one weight. If all you have are, are heavier weights, then you can easily press up overhead. But instead of really using, I'm gonna go for some tons today. Instead of really using our upper body to press up overhead, we've got a Romanian deadlift. We're gonna add in a squat. And then we're going to use the energy from the squat to press ourselves up overhead. Oh yeah, oh, we'll add that in later. Okay, so that's gonna be move number one. A Romanian deadlift into a squat into an overhead press. Next up, we're going to go for a row where we're gonna hold in the row and drop the weight. So hinging over with your belly pulled in, you're gonna draw that elbow up, your opposite hand comes under, hold for a second, switch, draw up, hold, switch. Then we're gonna come down to the floor and we're gonna go for a plank. You know what, we'll start off with an elevator plank. That sounds great. Then we're going to go for a straight leg sit up with a lat pullover. I'm gonna to switch to a slightly lighter weight for that one because we're gonna do one arm at a time. So I'll turn this way. So down here from the floor, legs are gonna stay straight. Your arms are gonna start overhead. You're gonna inhale, lift up, sit up. Find this lift of this chest. Slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. Then you're gonna reach behind you, switch hands, sit yourself up. If you do not have the abdominal strength to do it with your legs straight, you can go ahead and bend your knees. But if you can do it with your legs straight, go for it. Gosh, it's dark in here. Okay, next up, we're going to have some opposite arm swimmers to start off with. So we're just gonna be working with opposite arm, opposite leg, lifting up at the same time. Then you've got a glute bridge with a single arm fly. So once again, using the heaviest weight that you can safely use, you're gonna press yourself up one arm flies out to the side, come back in, lower down, then the opposite side, press up, out, in, down, good. Some nice total body moves in today. Oh, I love this next one. We're gonna go for a squat with a weight pass. So maybe you can switch to a heavier weight. We're gonna switch the weight from front to back. So weight comes into your heels and just pass it from front to back, stand all the way up, front to back, Stand all the way up. All right, and then our last move is gonna be single arm press. Toe taps, the weights in each of your hands. So coming back to those heavy weights, so we're gonna start off with just holding the weights above our head, if you can. If you need to, you can always have your arms down on the floor. We're just gonna tap up, work to lift those shoulders up off the floor, and the other side. If you can, no, we'll all have those arms down. That sounds mindful. Okay. Yay. I know that was a lot of instruction, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out and in. We're going to make the moves harder as each set goes on, but we don't have to worry about that. I will give you a heads up of how to increase the challenge if you want to as we move into sets two and three. Yay. Welcome to my Christmas dungeon. Okay. So starting off with those Romanian deadlift. So we're gonna do a Romanian deadlift. We're gonna lift up. No, from the, from the RDL. RDL, so nice and low. Then squat, overhead press. Ready? We start in three, two, one. Begin. So weights are facing you, bend those knees. Romanian deadlift. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna lift up from our RDL. Then we're gonna squat down, inhale, lift up, overhead press. Lower it down, Romanian deadlift. Come into that squat, press up, overhead press, slowly lower down. Awesome, keeping it nice and easy in round one. My mind's already thinking about round two. Press through the heels. Lift up, and round three, just ways to make it more challenging for those who are in need. If you got it, flaunt it. Awesome, you made it through round one, first move. Next up, we have those single row withhold. All right, so pull that belly in, find that hinge of your hips. 
you can even come closer. Okay. All right, so a nice big draw up, elbow leads, hold it. Bring your weight under your hand, switch your hand under your weight, I should say. The longer that you really squeeze and hold, you're keeping that core in nice and tight. Drive that elbow up high. Eyes stay down on the floor at about a 45 degree angle. No extra wrinkles in your neck. Keeping the weight in your heels here as well. Breathe in. Great, next up we're gonna go for those elevator planks on the floor. Awesome, grab a quick sip of water if you need it, just a quick sip because we're gonna be facing downwards. And if you need to be on your toes, I mean your knees, for this elevator plank, that's an option. Maybe you can even switch it up. Here we go, begin. So I'm going to do my push up, come down on my toes. Oh yeah, I'm doing elevator planks. All right, I can press up. I'm, I'm so confuddled, y'all. There is a way you can maybe lower yourself down on your forearms, but maybe you need to press yourself back up from those knees. That's what I was going for there. If you've been leading with the same arms, switch arms that you're leading with. Keeping those hands, palms about underneath of those chests. Keeping those hips in line with or under your shoulders. Almost there, just a couple more moments. Yay, you made it. All right, we got our straight leg sit-ups with that overhead lat pull. So bring one weight along and begin. Arm up overhead, lower down one vertebrae at a time. Switch that weight behind you. Can you tap it all, where's the weight? Tap it all the way to the floor. Lift yourself up, belly pulls in one vertebrae at a time. Notice I'm working to keep my bicep by my ear. So do your best to really lift up using your core. Just challenging ourselves a little bit with this instability, with this weight. But you're not working or trying to avoid throwing your arm and your weight up. If you find that you do need to use a little bit of the weight to help lift yourself up, that's fine. Do what you gotta do today. You made it. Awesome. Next up, we're going to go for those alternating swimmers. Roll over onto your belly. Extend those arms out nice and long and begin. So opposite arm, opposite leg. I really want you to squeeze your glute. I want you to think about how much of your thigh, of the top of your thigh towards that hip flexor, can you get up off of the floor? Especially while you still have that opposite hand and foot there to help you to maybe press up, to maybe squeeze and exhale a little bit higher at the top. Still be in control of your breath. Less than 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Awesome sauce. All right, next up. Oh, we've got our glute bridge with the single arm fly. These are, these are fun. So find the weight that works for you. I've got some eights. And begin. So press yourself up. Elbow can bend slightly, open out to the side, bring it back in and lower down and then switch. Press up really, press through those hips. Give yourself the best glute bridge that you can for today. And I want you to be smart for yourself. So if all you have is a heavy weight, if you need to limit your range of motion, that's totally okay. Keep pressing through those heels. Keep those knees in line with those hips as well. Almost there. Yay, you made it. We're gonna finish this rep out and then we're gonna stand on up because we got our squats with our weight pass. If you've got a heavier weight, you can switch to it. Go for it. We're gonna pass 
from front to back. So weight, feet a little bit wider than hips. We're gonna squat down, press, squeeze those glutes at the top, weight in those heels. Front to back. Keep going, you got this. 45 seconds here in round one. If you need to take a quick little break, you take a quick little break. We're more than halfway through. Can you drop your glutes a little bit lower while keeping the weight in your heels? So stretch that booty back behind you for four, three, two, one. Come on back down to the floor, last move. Last move. We're gonna start with a 90 degree bend in our arms and 90 degree bend in our legs. Keep that lower back down on the mat, belly pulled in tight. Opposites reach for each other. Great work. Just find that little reach. Pull that belly in, keep that lower back glued down towards the mat. If you find that you're feeling pain in your neck and your shoulders, uh, you're probably not contracting your abdominals quite enough. I've used the analogy in the past, it's like you're pitching a tent through your belly button to really glue that lower back down. Just work to find that squeeze being controlled here in your lift and your lower. You made it, awesome. Round one is done. Grab some water, I'm gonna give you a minute to yourself. And then I'm gonna start telling you about how we're gonna make the first move a little harder. But just the first move, we're gonna talk one move in. One move at a time. Hope you're enjoying your break. I'm enjoying the slight delay in the feed just to see how my dungeon looks. It looks better. Okay. Okay, so for our next round of Romanian deadlifts, you're going to add in a second overhead press. So you're going to a Romanian deadlift, bring yourself up, weights at your shoulders, squat, and then you're going to press. We're gonna add in some rotation of those shoulders as well. So bringing the weights down, we're gonna Romanian deadlift, squat, and then two overhead presses. Now if that's too much for you, you can always stick with just the one. Who's ready? Let's be, oh yeah, we're gonna add some extra time. We're gonna go for 50 seconds this time. Just five extra seconds for round two. We start in three, two, one, begin. So keep that hinge at your hips, slight bend in your knees. Lift yourself up, squeeze your glutes. We're gonna squat, press through your heels. Overhead press, second overhead press. Awesome, bring those weights down, belly in. Find that hinge, press through your heels, booty back. Belly tight, find your squat. Two overhead presses, one, two, begin again. If you are moving a little slower than me, that's fine if you're moving faster than me because you've got some great music going and you found that beat. 
Whatever it takes, I just want you to keep going. Just keep moving. We're almost there. Yay, we made it. All right, so next up, we've got our plank. So this time for the plank, I want you to add in a rotation to the side. Ready? Three, two, one. So starting off in your plank, I want you to take about three breaths and then rotate out to the opposite side. Extend your arm up about a three count. It doesn't need to be totally exact. Make sure you shift the weight back forward as you come back onto your straight arm plank. And if you need to, as this plank goes through, if you need to come on down to those forearms, if your wrists are getting really tired, that's totally fine. Can you resist stretching those glutes up towards the ceiling? I want you to pull that belly in. Shift that weight forward, squeeze those shoulder blades together. You got 10 seconds left. Yay, we made it. Made it through three moves. Next, we're coming back to that straight leg sit up. Bring your weight with you. We got that lat pullover and begin. I'm trying to a heavier weight this time around. Oh my gosh, all my toys. Gotta challenge yourself to see the change. This is not about speed here. So I want you to really make sure that you're lifting and lowering with control. Use that exhale to lift yourself up and then lower down one vertebrae at a time. I find extending the opposite arm in front is a really great counterbalance. So we're working our abs, getting a little bit of shoulder work here as well. Almost there. Yay, we made it. Next up, we've got our swimmers. This time we're gonna go for a little bit of the breast stroke. The breast stroke. So laying down, you're going to draw those elbows towards each other. Begin. As those elbows draw towards each other, you're still working to really lift those heels as high up towards the ceiling as possible. Use that exhale. Find that extra squeeze at the top and slowly lower forward. Are you still really working to ooh, get those hip flexors off the floor. You're squeezing your glutes so much, working to lift your heels so high. Get that upper body involved as well. That exhale really helps. Find that extra squeeze at the top. Yay, all right. We got our glute bridge single arm fly. If you want to work a little bit harder this time, keep those hips up. Keep the hips up the entire time and begin. However, if that's a little bit too much for you, remember you can lower those hips at the center. You can have a slight bend in that elbow, pressing up and then getting that fly. Still press through those heels, lifting up those hips. I know that back body might be a little tired after those swimmers asking it to work a little bit again right here in this glute bridge. Almost there, almost through round two, squeeze and lift a little bit higher. Uh, lower down. Great work. We've got our, our squat with our weight pass. This time I'm going to encourage you to turn it into a twisting lunge. So still front to back, we're gonna pass the weight. So come on down, front to back. Turn back to the front, front to back. If you can, slowly tap that knee down to the floor. Just working to stay controlled.
Weight in the front heel of your lunge, back ball of the foot, oops, front to back. Oops, sorry neighbor. <laughs> so close y'all, more, way more than halfway through. Final five seconds right now. Oh, excellent. Come on down to the floor. One more time through of our toe taps. We're gonna work a little harder if you can this time by having our knees in tabletop. So just hanging out in tabletop and then same thing, alternating toe up if you can. You can even extend your opposite leg out in front of you as you go for this lift, but being kind to ourselves and returning to tabletop at the center for round two. Seeming to be having some connectivity issues, which we will explore in just a moment. Ooh, keep pressing up, keep that lower back down on the floor, really reach all the way up to those toes though. Oh, you made it. You've got a minute to yourself. It says I'm still alive. Oh, I just got logged out of the outer nap. We're good, we're good. We got a minute to ourselves. We got one more time to go through and then, Enjoy the magic of Christmas Eve, whatever that means to you. Anyone can enjoy the holidays. We can enjoy the holidays no matter what religion we practice or don't practice. This is a great year to find joy wherever you can find joy. So I really hope that you do. Let's find some water. Oh my gosh, hydration, something so easy we can just be thankful for. Hopefully. Hydration, all I ever wanted. What are you guys making that you're excited about? For the holiday season, I made, did we forget a move? I feel like we forgot a move. Oh, we forgot our single arm row and no one was here to hold me accountable. Oh man, you know what that means? Is that we're going to Add it to the very end. We're going to do two single arm rows in round three. Because you know what we are? We're honest people. You know what else we're doing? We're doing a minute of work. We're doing a minute of work. You got an extra minute of rest. I'm going to bump up our rest time to 20 seconds. We got nine rounds this time. Oh, we're in. Beautiful. Amazing. Okay. Who's ready? I think I'm alone right now during this live broadcast. And that's totally okay. Because while it's great to work out with someone else, you've got to find that motivation within yourself. At some point, if you're listening to me right now, you got on Facebook or you got on YouTube and you said, man, I'm ready to push myself a little and also be really amused. And here we are. Okay, so we've got our last round of work. We're going to add in two Romanian deadlifts, two Romanian deadlifts. We're gonna put in that squat. And then we've got, let's add in three overhead presses. So you get a nice little extra stretch on the back of those legs and a little bit more chest work. And then we'll do our first round of those two sets of single arm rows we're doing. All right, grab y'all weights. We start in three, two, 
One, so two Romanian deadlifts this time. Two Romanian deadlifts, bring those weights to your shoulders, get into your squat. Stand up, overhead press, one, two, three, if you've got it in you, front lat pull down. I know, and then two Romanian deadlifts. You might even find, bring this weight to your shoulders, that as you do that, front lat pull over, three overhead presses that you need to bring the ends of your dumbbell together for a little bit more control, or just bring it down nice and easy again. Oh, that's some good work. All right, two Romanian deadlifts, one big squat, press up through your heels. You got it, three, two, one, nice and controlled, abs tight, good work. Three, two, one, 20 seconds rest. I'm just gonna do one more of each. Beautiful, so we've got our single arm row with weight drop. Number two, three, two, hinge belly in, begin. So row, squeeze and hold, really work to bring those shoulder blades towards each other and then switch. Really high. Keep that belly pulled in tight. Keep those eyes down at the floor. No extra wrinkles in your neck. Next up, we've got that plank. This time we're gonna keep our hands on the floor. We're gonna alternate squeezing our glutes and going for a nice heel lift. Squeeze it tight. Careful those toes. Practicing a little coordination with this catch. Final 10 seconds right here. If you're sticking with me for the full minute. Three, two, one. Ah, great work. So you may have noticed that a lot of today's moves, we finish moving one area, we're working something else, but that first area is still coming into play. All right, so we're coming into that plank. We're gonna go for some leg lifts. If you need to be modified, you can always be here in tabletop and just squeeze one leg up. You can be in a check mark and do the same thing or on your toes begin. So a nice controlled lift up. Controlled lift and controlled lower. If you need to come down onto your forearms, you're welcome to come down to your forearms. Having your legs a little bit wider can provide a slightly more stable base. More than halfway. This is the last plank of your day, unless you got another workout coming up. Keep that belly pulled in tight. Keep those glutes low. Final five seconds right here. Three, two, one. Oh, great work. All right, we've got our Straight legs sit up with that overhead lat pull. Relax that lower body. Take some big breaths right now. Begin. Slowly lower down. Tap that weight to the floor. Switch your hands. Slowly lift yourself up. Reach up. Slowly lower down. How you like this one? I like this one. Finding that reach forward with your opposite arm really, again, helps with the counterbalance here. Also to really help you to work to use those abs instead of throwing your weight forward, throwing that arm up, or really working to engage that core one vertebrae at a time. It takes a little coordination, I know. Mind body, y'all. Oopsies, sorry. Sorry, stuff behind me. A little bit of 
just sliding happening here. Oh, lower down. Good work. We're done with that for the day. Bam. Next up, we've got our, oh, we're going to go for swimmers, but this time we're going to go for angels. So starting with your arms in front of you, you're going to lift up straight arm all the way back, all the way forward and down. Begin. So everything lifts up. Reach all the way back, extra exhale, squeeze at the back, find that extra lift, and lower down. Inhale to lift. Last bit of exhale at the back. Use that inhale to slowly bring yourself forward. So you get a little bit more focus on this round of engaging that back as opposed to the big lift we've been focusing on with those legs, but if you can really work to still squeeze, ooh, Charlie horse, to squeeze, find that lift. Last round. Keep going. You're so worth it, you're here. Oh, you made it, you made it. All right, what's next? We've got our glute bridge, single arm fly. So roll over, find the weight that works for you today, the best challenge for yourself. If you wanna work a little bit harder this time, while we're lifting up, we're gonna lift up our opposite leg and then bring it back in. Opposite knee comes in towards chest. So just a nice little march. Just passing that weight side to side. You can still include this chest press if you want to, or you can just do a nice straight arm pass. Keep squeezing those glutes, lifting those hips up. Oh my gosh. Keeping it right above your chest. Stay controlled. You've got it. You're worth it. We're almost there. Yay! Slowly lower down. Last three moves. Stand up. This time we're going to go for a side lunge. Still passing from front to back. We're going to side lunge. Step it forward, step out. Begin side lunge, front to back. Lift yourself up. Side lunge, lift yourself up. So if you've got some good music, find that beat. Make sure your knees are still continuing to point in the direction of your toe. Keep that weight in your heels. And as you side lunge, you send that booty back. Great work, halfway right now. Taking a step that you can press yourself back, use your core to, yeah, there's something weird just happened. I don't know, to step back into. Instead of those little, don't step out so far, if you can, to avoid little mini steps in, because then you lose quite a bit of this engagement to pick yourself up especially with this weight in your hand. You made it, you created that imbalance. All right, so come on down. We got our last time through of these toe taps, weighted toe taps. Option to work a little bit harder, this time by keeping your feet out and then alternating, tapping up. Begin. Now the goal is to get those heels as close to the floor as possible. But if you need to, you can always have those feet stretching a little higher up towards the ceiling to still be gently working those lower abs instead of your resting place being with your feet closer towards the floor because we really want to make sure that that lower back is supported wherever you are. 
Oh, we got one more move after this. And then we got a nice cool down. And then you can feel good about showing up for yourself today because you definitely did here with me. Whatever day it is that you checked in. Oh my gosh, we made it. Oh, make your way to your feet. Last time through of our single arm, oh, sorry for that bump to the camera, single arm row. Last time through, three, belly tight, hinge forward, begin. Row, drop, row. So you also get a teeny little bit of rotation from the core, but you're working to stay squared towards the floor. So I'm not really turning towards the opposite side because you're drawing your elbow directly back behind you as high up as you can go. Keep that weight in your heels. 30 seconds left. Stick with it right here for this final full minute of work for the day. With me in my dungeon dark apartment. Keep that core in super tight. Do you feel it in that upper back? Do you feel those abs engaging? Maybe you even feel it in your glutes right now with that slight bend in your knees. Pressing through your heels, three, two, one. Yay, put your weights away, grab some water. And then we're gonna stretch it out. You got one minute. We're gonna go over just a little bit, just to make sure we can get a good stretch in. May this be one of many glasses of water that you enjoyed today. I hope that, you know, through these different rounds, we had eight moves to do. We had three rounds, taking some sips before we worked out, between sets after, that hopefully you got through at least eight to 16 ounces of water with me today. Okay, beautiful. Let's go ahead and stand with our feet about hips width distance apart. You can take a bend of your knees, big inhale, stretch all the way up. Exhale, relax those arms down by your side. Let's do three more just like that. Inhale up, really reach up, exhale down. Two more. One more big one. Let's reach those arms up overhead one more time. Pull those bellies in nice and tight. Reach a little bit more through your right fingertips, through your left fingertips. Just starting to get a nice little stretch on the side body. Right fingertips, left fingertips. One more time each side. Ooh. Right fingertips, stretch up. Left fingertips stretch up, both arms stretch up, belly pulls in tight, we're just gonna hinge forward down towards the floor. If you can't reach all the way towards the floor, that's okay, take a big bend in your knees, stretch through those elbows, bring your belly to your thighs to be supported here. Shift a little bit more weight into your heels and relax. Rock a little bit side to side, Start to slow your breath down. If it feels good for you to bring those hands down to the floor, you can release your hands down to the floor. We're gonna gently cross our right leg over the left leg. If you can't reach all the way down towards the floor, that's okay. You, you can always just find that reach. It's all right if with this um, extra stretch of crossing the legs, if your belly um, can't reach your thighs. I do want you to take this extra rounding out of your back though. So find a little bit more stretch through the crown of your head, a flat back here, or as flat as you can make it. Even if your fingers come a little further forward as opposed towards your toes. Change, let's switch back to those legs side by side. Go ahead, pedal your heels out one and then the other. And then cross that left leg over your right. 
Once again, maybe walk your hands out a little bit further. Try to come into a slightly flat back as opposed to a really big rounding. You want your back to feel good. So working to release your belly still towards that top thigh for three, two, one last time, feet side by side. Okay, keep your right hand down on the floor. You can step your right foot out just a little bit. Inhale, your left hand up towards the ceiling. Switch, switch your hands, switch that big stretch. Or at least both hands back down towards the floor. Heel toe your feet up a little bit wider and just choose a side. We're gonna come into a nice big side lunge big stretch of those inner outer thighs. Keep the weight in your heels. Keep stretching your hips towards the back of the room and switch towards the opposite side. Nice and slow. You can have your hands supported on the floor. If the floor still feels too far away, you can always have your hands supported on your bent knee. One more time back through center. You can start to shift the weight a little forward towards your toes. Maybe even walk your hands back through your feet. Create the deepest stretch that we've created so far in the back of our legs for three, two, one. Walk your hands back forward. Stretch them out to the side. Contract that core once more and slowly, gently inhale. Lift yourself up. Step your feet together or heel toe them together. Bring those arms up overhead. Relax your right hand down, reach back. One more big stretch of that quad. Stretch your knee down to the floor and then towards the wall behind you. Even opening up your chest, feeling that stretch once more in your back. And then switch leg down, arm up, opposite side. Find one spot to focus your eyes. It's gonna help with your balance. Really work to stretch that knee away from you. Finding a little squeeze of your glute. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, slowly, gently release, stretch up. Relax your arms down by your side. That's all the time that we have for today. Find any extra stretches that feel good for your body. Maybe while you're reading something on the computer standing in the cook kitchen, doing some cooking, even while you're brushing your teeth, an opportunity to get some stretches, a little engagement in your calves. Just find some ways to put some exercise, exercise and stretching into every day so you can feel awesome. Thank y'all so much for joining me. I hope you feel as amazing as I do right now. That was a good workout. I hope to hear from you soon. Have a wonderful day.